Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On the last episode, we, on Kadara, uh, headed off to where the draw point was off for uh, Reyes' rival and ex-girlfriend, uh, Zia Cordaire, and her smuggling draw point. Turns out there was a, there was a bunch of junk scattered around there. Uh, looks like there was some action. Uh, we found a data pad that was left behind that led to another building uh, a little north of the wind farm. Headed over there. Turns out it was a trap. Reyes was there, uh, not realizing it was a trap, but Zia cut us off from leaving and was like, ha ha, how dare you fall into this stupid trap? And so we immediately d took care of her. <laughs> Apparently all the other smugglers in, in town have... Uh, formed a coalition against Reyes for stealing all the good stuff. But now that Z is dead, they're probably going to back off a little bit. So Reyes dealt with that, helped him out. Then we headed over to where the Ket were spotted, uh, called Kata saying, hey, we found a giant cave. Uh, Sloane showed up wanting to help because it made her look good. And there were Ket there, so we took care of them all. Hooray! So we headed back over to the Kadara port, uh, gave Jim his message about his uh, girlfriend, uh, and then headed on to the Tempest so that we could get some status updates, because we kind of needed to go over here in order to get the base on Kadara set up. Uh, but we quickly had a small interruption when Drac called a meeting saying that some things were going on at the Krogan camp on Elodin, which is a different planet. So we're going to be heading there soon. Also, the potential Turian Golden World, there's been some action around there. And we had a lot of updates about like arcs and loyalty missions and stuff like that. So we have a lot waiting for us when we get off. Uh, I looked at our stats. We are only 40% uh, through the game. <laughs> that time plated time completion is now off. We're six hours behind. We used to be at like up. Uh, yeah, like we were at like an hour per. Uh, well, we're working on it. So... This episode, we're heading back to Gadara because we have to go do stuff on Gadara. Oh, we did have that email about the firefighters, the AI hackers. Uh, but speaking of AI hackers, I need to go talk with Sam quickly to go deal with the mission that we have. Also, we have to call Reyes on the VidCon in the back. Why am I getting a thing? My thing's... My thing activated. Oh? Hmm. Crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. Dehydrated rice noodles, ash berries, Aya grown. Ooh, nice. Oh, they're for, uh... Oh, the, the paprio bundles and ash berries. Yeah, we bought those. Very expensive. Okay, so we have a... We have a, we have a rodent problem on the Tempest? Uh-oh. I don't have anything in my room. I barely go in here, so I don't. Doesn't really matter. Okay, but the reason why I wanted to talk with uh... <laughs> I actually have a tempest assignment thing here. I wanted to talk to this because of the Krogan betrayal thing. We have to talk to Sam on the tempest. I think I have to talk to this Sam. Yes, because we were waiting for him to tell us what planet that the spender footage came from. And apparently, it's Kadara. Pathfinder, I've retrieved actionable intel from the security vid of Spender. What did you find? Updating your system with a nap point. Thank you. I feel like I should bring Drac now. Like, still bring, uh... I don't need. I don't think I need Vetra. Still bring Jal... Because he's future, he's future husband. <laughs> but definitely bring Drac. No orbiting Kadara. Yeah, I got that. I got boosting the signal. How can I boost the signal here?
<laughs> that was abrupt. Okay. Uh, let's let's uh, let's go down. Wait, do I need? I forgot to call Reyes. I need to go back on the Tempest. Uh, you know, what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna cut because it's, I, we have to see the transition there and back. Okay, hold on one moment. All right, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I have to be up here <laughs> and not on Kadara. Let's see, let's call Reyes. Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. All right, we got a we got a party to go attend. Should we look nice? I could change my outfit to look a little bit nicer, I think. Or should we just look like this, you know, since we <laughs> were uh, Andromeda. I actually don't know what my other outfits look like. You know what? Let's go change into something that's a little bit more rebellious. I feel like I have a casual outfit. Do I have a casual outfit? Like how, like how Shepard had like a... Like a leather jacket. Yeah, jacket. Huh. Hoodie? Eh. Athletic. Okay. <laughs> Blasto! Uh. Ooh. We could roll up our sleeves. Now nah, let's go with the jacket thing. I can't cut. You know what? We'll stick with the colors. Who knows? Maybe it's chilly on Kadara. It's my formal leather. <laughs> Back to Kadara. Gonna cut again. Okay, I'm back on Kadara. Uh, nah, I don't need to read that. Okay. Where is that going? Oh, that's, uh, Nac that's Nakmore's mission. We'll save that for later. Uh, oh, is that it up there? I wonder how good of a party this is. Maybe she's celebrating that the Keto are now fully gone. It appears festivities are underway. Mr. Rodal asked you to meet him at the entrance. Well, I'll be kind. I'll wait for him here. Hold up. This is a private event. I'm not a VIP. <laughs> I'm here with someone else. I'm meeting a friend. Not without an invite. She's with me, Reyes Vidal. Go on in. Reyes Vidal, I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder, meet Kima Dorgan, the Angaran representative to Sloan and uh, a friend. A pleasure, Kima. Call me Ryder. Reyes mentioned your professionalism. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle, make a good impression. You're going to be playing catch-up on all the fun. I work best one step behind. Promise. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Enjoy the party. My only connection left. Mingle with party guests. Okay. Uh, let's see what people are talking about. I have to talk with a couple people here. Oh. What's wrong? Rough night? Said something I shouldn't have. To a woman. Nova. 
She's in Garth. Been planning tonight for weeks. Filed my talons, buffed my fringe. Only to screw up not two seconds after walking through the door. Whatever you did, I'm sure you can fix it. You don't know what I said. Nola has a sister. I may have compared the two of them. I thought if I made Nola jealous... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we can go the pessimistic route or we can go the optimistic route. Optimist? Optimist? Okay, that's bad. Really bad. But I still think you can recover. Explain that you only said what you did because you're an idiot and you like her. You think that'll work? Better than wallowing in self-pity. All right. Wish me luck. We helped a couple. Uh, who else can I talk to you? Oh, hi, Sloan. Uh, don't notice that I'm here. Or do notice that I'm here. I don't really care. Hello, Mr. Gambler. You playing a game? Trying to. This idiot can't decide on evens or odds. You. You look lucky. Which should I choose? Uh, where'd my coin go? I had a coin here. Where did my coin go? I had a, I had a, I had a penny here. It went. I had it. I don't see it. Uh, I'll flip this thing. If it points towards me, it's evens. If it doesn't point towards me, it's odds. It's pointing towards me, evens. Go evens. Okay, evens. Congratulations. Holy shit. I won! I actually won! Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, sweet. Where's my cut? <laughs> I'll I'll only ask for like ten percent. Like Can you eat bread? <laughs> Remember, you have different amino acids. Uh, I guess I'm the only. Have I gotten any points towards party guests? I guess not. Okay. Uh. Let's get crunk. I'd like a drink. What's the name of my bar? What? You want a drink? Answer the question. Ooh, that's not correct. Crawler's song. Hmm. Let's get crunk. Back again. Hope you're ready for round two. How do I serve whiskey? Oh, these are these are these have right and wrong answers. Uh, I think she said neat. Don't say this. <laughs> neat. I'm almost impressed. We guys still still gotta get crunk. Final question. Want to be a test subject? I've got a new drink. Angar and wine mixed with Rincol. Need to know if it's safe for humans. You in? <laughs> We've heard about Rincol a couple times and how it's not safe for humans. Or it's like really, really powerful. How did Angarans make wine? That must, that must be really expensive with the fruit that they need. Uh, sure. Hit me with your best shot. You're the worst. You know that, right? Bottoms up. Still standing. Success. Pathfinder, might I suggest you slowing down? At least until Mr. Vidal returns. Shut up, Sam. It's a party.
I think I, I think I partied too hard. <laughs> I love how I just sat in her seat. Uh, all right. Let's talk, Cadis. Hey, I helped you. One wrong move and you're out. Message received, loud and clear. Just keep a low profile. Sloan's already gonna give me hell. Hey, we're buds, I think. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is the outcasts. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. How did he meet Reyes? The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal. Through business. His skills are very valuable in Kadara Port. Are you part of the resistance? No. Ephra and I share information, but Kadara's problems come first. If war breaks out between the Collective and the Outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. Have you seen Reyes? No, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. I hope these pirates haven't given you a bad view of my people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I judge individuals, not groups. You, for example, I like. Not sure about who you work for, but I've learned to keep my options open. You never know who might end up in charge. Exactly. Nice talking to you, Kima. Likewise, Pathfinder. All right. Oh, we got to talk with Kelly. Hey, I'm sorry I sat in your seat, but it just looks so comfy. I mean, you're sitting in it, even though it looks like it's made out of pure metal. I see that Kytus needs to vet the guest list more thoroughly. I'm here with a friend. If that's a problem, I can go. Well, that would only raise questions. Enjoy Kadara's hospitality while you have it. Well, play nice. Ooh, now I gotta find Reyes. Okay. Reyes, where are you? No answer, but I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. Let's see what he's up to. Excuse me? Oh, they, they are talking about Turian food. Maybe the bread is good. Okay, uh, Reyes, what are you doing in here? Damn it! Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Take the night off. Come out for a drink. Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloan stuff? <laughs> okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. been making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. Sorry. <coughs> My friend had a bit too much to drink. Hey, it worked. <sighs> Next time I come up with the plan. Finally, here it is. <clears throat> That's what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. I hope you're planning on sharing. Ha, <laughs> we'll see. Let's get out of here. Gorgeous, isn't it? I sometimes forget. Is Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? Every day's an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes? To be someone. You're someone to me. To new adventures. 
and new friends. friends uh if we would have been doing like any of the any of the uh romance options the flirting options that we've had this whole time with uh reyes instead of punching him we could have kissed him and uh if we would have really wanted a relationship with reyes uh things could have led to something a little bit more uh during the little drinking game we had up there <laughs> but it's nice to be friends i think if you choose the other one you just act like or colleagues. Uh, what else? Thought I'd, that'd be it. Wait for trouble to come calling. I need trouble to come calling. I might have to go back to the Tempest. Although, I could go downstairs and deal with the firefighters. And deal with the Knackmore Drac thing. <laughs> uh, let's get Vetra out and Drac in. I don't know if there's anything new for the Nomad. I, I didn't check any of the stores. I did check the the store in the Tempest, but I don't think that had anything either. And there's no stores downstairs, so I don't have to worry about that. I love this invisible wall that's just right there. Which wasn't come calling yet. Incoming call from Sloan. Sloan? Really? I need to speak to you. Come alone. What is this? She hung up, Pathfinder. Lovely. Better see what she wants. Is she upstairs or is she out here somewhere? I bet I could drink it. No, Drac, no. <laughs> is he talking about the silver water? I mean, Probably now. It's probably not super duper filtered. Uh, what's this over here? That's where we have to go for Knackmore Drac. Over here is the firefighters. Meet Sloan. Speak to Sloan. Oh, we gotta go back. All right, well, that's fine. We can go back. This is actually very important, because I think this will be, the, like, the last thing we need before we can actually settle Kadara. We haven't really gone on our good side. I mean, we did help take care of the cat, but we did just steal a very priceless uh, drink from her. That is if she knows it was us. She probably has her suspicions, because we did talk to her, we did get drunk at the party, and we did sit in her seat. But hey, I waited for trouble to brew. So what brewed? Excuse me. <laughs> I, I ran to that guy, and it looks like he started chasing me down. These very, very long loading screens. I could have used the fast travel station. I'm a fool. No funny business. Oh, God, there's no one here. Okay. I, you did say meet alone. Uh, should I have brought a weapon? Where is everybody? I told him to get out of my sight. What happened? The charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus. He's alive, barely. I know you and Kytus are close. I... You don't know shit. 
I didn't call you here for a pity party. Why did you call me? I'm not exactly your favorite person. The charlatan left a note on Kytus' body. He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. You think? I can't trust my own people, but you... You're an outsider. And honorable. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? I ignored the Collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. All right. We're going to finally meet the charlatan. If we help Sloan, she might show some leeway and let us set up a base. I'm glad we're finally going to get the selling Kadara thing done. We get we can almost leave Kadara for the first time. I mean, we've technically have left it twice now. Uh the first time we needed to to get the story updates, but the second time was a complete accident because we forgot to talk with Reyes on the phone. But once we do that, we have two other places to go check out. I feel like we should go check out both of them before we head over to the Nexus. Going to the slums. We could just book it straight for that. We could book it. Yeah, we could book it straight for the uh, the mission that we're doing with Sloan. Save the firefighters for next episode. Because the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can move our Tempest away from here. And then we don't have to do this elevator ride every single time we, we come here. Where did you want to meet? She said draw Lear, so it's in the south. Or west? <laughs> hmm. It's already active. Oh god. <laughs> Don't roll away. It's up there somewhere. Well, let's take this path. You all right, Drax? Too much high ground. Keep expecting an ambush. Oh, relax. Oh God, look at those. That many siblings common to you guys? We have large families. Strength in numbers. Yeah, Krogan used to run that show. Careful. <laughs> is that a is that a warning about us? That we might uh, we might try and do something about the Engarn population like the Genophage. Kind of messed up, Drac. <laughs> Although not unwarranted. There's a cave here. It's always a cave, and there's Sloan as well. Be ready, kid. Sloan's out for blood. Something's roaring. Hey, Sloan, how's it going? Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. I'm with you. You look like you're waiting for someone. Reyes? I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. 
They're one and the same. Surprise. The Angaran spy. Your interest in the Rokar murders. Everything you've done has been to undermine Sloane's power. Death by a thousand cuts. You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> a duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Sniper, his sights are set on slow. Get her out of here. Prepare the crew. Kadara port is ours tonight. Guess you got everything you wanted. What I want is peace. Sloan would have brought war to Helios. We don't have the population to survive that. Is Reyes even your real name? It's what my mother called me. <sighs> it's my real name. I only lied because I didn't want the rumors surrounding the charlatan to taint your view of me. Your reputation does precede you. It's a gift and a curse. So what now? I get to work. Kadara port won't take itself. Oh, okay. He staged a coup. So long, Sloane Kelly. And it was that simple. So... We had actually a choice there. If we would have interrupted and been like, hey, Sloane, they have a sniper, you know, because he cheated. Uh, Sloane would have been like, oh, this thing isn't fair, huh? And then we would have had another chance for another interrupt uh, where we got to, we had to shoot Reyes ourselves because he would have just decided to run. Where does this cave come from? Oh, this is the exit. Wait, where, where did you walk out of from? Where's this other door going? Right. Oh, don't tell me that's how I get that thing up there. This is very high up. It did say go talk with Reyes at Tartarus, so maybe he still wants us to do something for him. I can't warp to Tartarus. I can get close. That's not the right fast travel point. <laughs> I went further south. That's not correct. Also, there's a giant marker here. So the outcasts are outcast from Kadara Port now. So if, if Sloane's gone and Reyes is now leading... We have a better chance of getting a settlement set up. We're kind of better friends with him than we were with Sloane. Maybe I can ask for a favor? Thought you'd be in the throne room. Tartarus is a little shabby for Kadara's new leader, don't you think? Come on, Ryder. You know I prefer to rule from the shadows. You are a shady bastard. Guilty as charged. The Angara you met at Sloane's party, Kima Dorgan. She's agreed to be my front. And with Sloane gone, there's room for the initiative on Kadara. I'll start rounding up volunteers for an outpost. Might take a while. You exiles have a reputation. Not all of us are thieves and murderers. I am, but some of the others are perfectly nice. Perfectly? Jokes aside, I want this outpost just as much as you do. 
It will have my full protection. That's a promise. I allied myself with the right man. What's this? It's a handshake. We are partners now. Partners and friends. No more lies. <laughs> At least no serious lies. Pathfinder, Kadara is now a viable option for an outpost. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe, but with the Collective's protection, we should be okay. Let's go set up that outpost. Then we can end the episode off on a high point. Sloane's dead. Ah ha ha. We, we did a coup. The exiles are no longer... I mean, it's... He's still in exile, but... Friendlier exiles. Mark that down. You know what? Let's drive there. Let's enjoy the views before we set up this place and ruin it with the with the initiative space. Initiative space won't be that bad. How many worlds have you hidden? I don't know what you mean. I know the drill. Scourge is a pain, but it helps too. There's more of you out there. Has to be. I don't know what you're talking about. Either Jal doesn't, or he's playing very nicely. But exactly how many Angaran worlds are there? I mean, they probably have been cut off for a while. It has been like, what, eight decades? They could just be all, uh, all split up. Hey, Wind Farm. You're under new management now. So with an Angarn leading the place. Look out. Our connections won't do us any favors in a camp like that. It'll be a little bit more Angarn friendly, I hope. Oh! <laughs> I, am, I went completely upside down. Hey, we could uh we could check Cribda's point to see if there's anything in there that we could take, since you know it's completely empty. I don't remember how this base looks like when we set it up. So I'm kinda curious to see what it looks like. This area is viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Good, we're about to get Kadara to 100% here. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director, I trust you're enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. We can't turn our backs. The initiative failed them. You weren't there, but you're here now, and it's your call. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara. You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. Getting this far was hard, and it won't get easier. But it will get better. We have to want it to get better. Kadara is the frontier. As wild and as promising as it gets. I know we're up for it. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. Now look me in the face and say that. <laughs> Ooh! Initiative shuttle. Yay! Oh, nice bedroom. Oh, I got a cryopod point. Nice. Thought there was a cutscene that happened uh, upon, you know, dropping this place. But, uh... Guess not. Also, the Tempest is currently not here. <laughs> uh, we do need to go back, I think, to uh, 
I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. I think we do need to go back and uh, grab the Tempest, but I think we'll start landing here now. Probably up there. Uh, I don't know where else we would land. Are we really... We have a water base over here. Oh, look, there's another shuttle. Uh, you know what? We're going to stop exploring, and we're going to explore this next episode. There's a lot to explore. We got a building underneath us. We got that building's over there. Got the buildings over there. And also, uh, there's a, there's something around Kadara now. Uh, and we also have Drax thing to deal with. Okay, the receiver goes up there. We have Drax thing over here. We have the firefighter thing over here. And then we'll probably uh, head up here quickly <laughs> to go see something. So, on the next episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, I hope we have one more episode of Kadara before we can leave this place and head off to go somewhere else. We need, we need to start getting our percentage up, and I don't know what we're currently at. I feel like we were at 40 before, so we're probably around 41 now. <laughs> but that also counts all the tasks, and we haven't really been going for those. So, we'll see. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.